Let, let, let me do this. Right Gentlemen, right. let me do this real quick and I'll get back to you. Now, September is fast approaching and uh, there's been rising concerns uh, with regards to the school selection process for the BEC graduates. It's not been yet finalized and the Ghana Education Service has actually issued an update, uh, yet uh, they're yet to actually complete that, uh, the school placement. So let me speak to Max Sasu. He's a national uh, coordinator uh, is uh, for the computerized school and uh, placement system uh, for the GES and find out exactly uh, what this issue uh, is all about and the progress with regards to that. Good morning, uh, Sasu, if you can hear me. Hello, Sasu, are you there? Good morning. Is it Joyce? Um, yes, this is Joyce, Joy Prime. Yes. Yeah, Joy Prime. Uh, thanks, thanks for the time this morning. We're grateful. Okay, thank you too. Great. So, uh, how, 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 where are we now? First of all. Okay, so, um, thank, thank, thank you very much. Um, let me extend my greetings to your listeners this morning um, for the good work that you've been doing for Mother Ghana. Well, thank you very much. I think uh, the CSSP, that's Computerized School Selection and Placement System, mm. is always mandated to ensure that they place BEC, qualified BEC candidates from the JHS to the secondary school. And I think that last year and this year, the JHS students actually completed, um, that was on the 12th of, um, that was June. Um, that was June. Mm. But normally, sometime, um, about three, four years ago, um, three years ago, normally we write the BEC before selecting the school, select, selecting the schools. And I think that the selecting the school, the school is a very important exercise that every BEC, every completed BEC student must ensure that he does it. Because that's a major exercise that you have to do before you can you can be placed. And so I think that I know parents are actually very worried as a result of uh, about one and a half months ago that they have, been, that they have completed the school yeah. that they've not been able to, um, in fact, engage in this exercise. Let me just say, let me apologize to, uh, to parents and candidates for that last piece over there. Now. I think that right now we are clear of what we are what what we are going. Okay, Mark, Mark, so, Mark before before you get to the the, the progress, well, what was the cause of the delay in the first place? Well, it's as a result of the decision that we just wanted to ensure that maybe things are getting uh, clear before we will maybe uh, do that exercise. Well, when so you right say now, things 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 are clear, um, in 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 what uh, we are we looking you at? You know. You know, um, when you know it, it's a it's a process. Okay. It's a process, and therefore sometimes when you are, when when you want to engage in that process, there are certain things that you have to consider before maybe you give them a timeline. So and and CSS, CSS, let me also tell you that we work with the policy makers, and the policy the policy makers always have to give you the timelines for each group for you to work with, and that is the reason why it, and they, and they have given us. The red, uh, that is the green light for us to, to engage the process. So what's the, what's the timeline now? So the timeline is um, starting from the, that was from yesterday up to the 4th of September. The BC students are, are supposed to go to their schools and, reg and, and select their schools with, their, with the management of their uh, head, that is management of their uh, the JHS schools. So they must go to their JHS schools and go and select the school. I think the policy guidelines that, um, does not differ from last year. Last year, there was the policy guideline uh, until that is the same policy guideline that they will be using for this year's um, selection exercise. But for the ones of uh, maybe for them to explain so that they will understand, let me also explain the policy guideline mm -hmm. as required by, uh, by them to uh, to engage in this exercise. Well, I think that this year we have about 938 schools that they are supposed to go. 988 schools, and this 938 schools comprises of the same schools, which is about 15 schools, 15 STEM schools. They are also, we have senior high technical schools and we have TUS schools. I think we have about 255 TUS schools. And uh, we have the grammar schools, that's senior high schools. So if you combine all these three STEM, senior high technical schools and senior high school and TBS schools, that's four. We have about 938 schools. 
and we, we approximately have about um, almost 19,000 JHS schools that took part in this recent, recent JHS, JHS uh, uh, based mm -hmm. PC exam. Therefore, the policy still remains. Let me go to the, the policy. If uh, one, we have categorized the schools into categories A, B, and C. Okay. And the A, B, B, and C, we have 938 schools, as I said. Uh, for category A, for category A, students are supposed to choose only one school from there. For category B, maximum of two. And the category C, you may, you may choose up to maximum of five. And we have a compulsory day school or special boarding schools. So, um, so for, 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 uh, for the first choices, the uh, students should be able to select maximum of six choices. Maximum of two choices. One, category A, maximum of just only one, category B, two. Maximum that you can select from that category is two. Category C, you have up to five. Up to five. Maximum of five. And you must select one compulsory day or special boarding school, which is, uh, which is uh, up to six. So, for example... If maybe I am Max Assumens, I know very well that all the category A, B, and schools may be uh, looking, at, looking at my standard. I don't have, a, I can't choose any school from there. So I'll select all my, my school from, all the five schools from category C. Then I will come and choose one compulsory day school or special boarding school. Then I'm done. Okay. Um, if maybe, if maybe you are. <coughs> Maybe you are question mentor. You you believe yourself. You maybe you choose one category A school from maybe preset. You choose two schools from maybe let's say category B. So that means you are left with only about three schools. So you come and choose two schools also from the category C. Then you choose one of your compulsory day or special boarding school. And then it comes to the um, six schools that you have to choose. Now, if you go to appendix three or appendix four, we have. The appendix four uh, is a cluster of schools that you must also choose from. Those clusters of schools, you must choose about five schools from the cluster of schools. The reason why you have to choose from the cl that cluster of schools is that when you are not able to get any of the six choices that you initially chose, then we can put you in any of the cluster of schools that uh, we have given you subsequently, maybe the five schools. Because we have seen that after the automatic placement, there are a lot of people who do not get a lot of people who do not get access to their six choices. Therefore, the the five uh, the five cluster of schools that you, you have chosen you have chosen later, we can we can give any of that school to you. Okay. Because if you look at last year, about about more than 100, people couldn't get access to uh, uh, access to any of their six choices. But it was a cluster of schools that helped us to uh, get a lot of people in there, so that at least when we release it, at least ninety percent can get access to. All right, very well, uh, Mark. Uh, we, we, we have to let you go, uh, but then before you go, I'm sure you've had a way of communicating this to the worrying parents uh, who have not been able to, for the past one month or so now, uh, put their, their kids in school. Yes, very well. Um, I think that uh, my my um, our 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 staff. We have started the training, so we'll be going to the whole over Ghana okay. to sensitize people on this new policy, on this policy, policy. And secondly, secondly, we'll be also engaging the media to also ensure that at least this policy actually is drummed home very well, so that at least errors, a lot of errors will not be committed. Very well. Thank you so much for making time this morning. We're grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very well, my, my brother. Great. And please, may I know the name? Oh, my name is KMJ. Sorry, uh, I didn't mention that earlier. KMJ. So thank you very much. Thank you for your for for, for, for listening to me this morning. And Welcome. Thank you for your...
Welcome. We're grateful that you're also able to join us. Mark Sasu is the national coordinator for the computerized school and placement system by the Ghana Education Service, uh, explaining some of the things that uh, caused the delay of the uh, selection of schools and also uh, what they intend to do to ensure that parents who have been worried for the past one and a half months or so are able to, you know, go and, and, and put their, their kids in school. Um, we, we've got a few minutes to actually wrap up for this morning. Maybe I'll take your closing remarks. I'll start with you, Samuel, and then yeah. um, Alaji will wrap up for Thank us. Thank you very much, uh, KMJ. Uh, Alaji said something. I want, we are on a national television. Let me clarify that. He said that the NDC is actually the one that started the National Identification Authority. And I want you to know that it is not true. Why? It is not true. The this National Art Identification Authority. Authority. This act was passed as of 2006. Now, it was under the former president, His Excellency John Ajekum Kufo, where this National Identification Authority Act 2006, Act 707, was passed. Okay. So right. I am surprised that. He sits on a national television and lied to us that it is under the NDC government that this act was passed. Even assuming, without admitting, that so it was even, be, be it was even passed have time. under his government. When John Dramani came, when Mills came, what did they do about it? Nothing. But I want to use your platform to appeal to the good people of Ghana and to my brothers and sisters who are SHS graduates that please, you did not see what Muhammad did to you to prevent you from going or having free SHS okay. education. Okay. Please, he actually campaigned against you having free SHS. Okay, all right. So, so I'm so appealing that's, to that's, you that's, that, that point is vote good. against him Let me as go a to payback Alaji. Alaji. and support Baumia to become the next president Alaji. to maintain yes. and protect this for your brothers and sisters okay. as well. Alaji, so do, do also do one well, me. Well, for me, that. it's simple. We are researching the economy mm. for jobs, for accountability, and prosperity. MPP can do whatever they want to do. Ghanaians have made their mind. They have disappointed Ghanaians with all their sweet promises of 2016, 2020. They have not been able to deliver. So it's time for them to hand over to a government that will take Ghana to, Ghanaians to the promised land. Okay. Uh, it's not we saying it, but he can see it from the post here. Ghanaians are fed up with them. Very they well. have nothing to offer. So they have to, they are tired, they have run out of ideas. Okay, thank you very much, Alaji <coughs> Alassan and Baobad, the former chairman of NDC, UK, Ireland mm -hmm. chapter, joining us this morning. We're grateful. Emmanuel Senor Amakpleno is the national communication team member for the NPP, also joining us this morning as well. And we had uh, lawyer Kwame Tantua Esquire also joining us this morning as well from the CPP. He's a member, senior member of the CPP. A big thank you to Franco Trading Enterprise this morning for our conversation here on News Flash. You can call them 0555 939311 and speak to them. There's still more coming up here on the show. A CBS is standing by with latest updates and world of trends. Sports updates will be coming through Muftau. And then also we've got uh, our relationship conversation. Now. Also later, we have some entertainment. Rosalind Fellow will be bringing you that here on the show as well. Please do stay. We'll have some more coming up right here on the show. News Flash was brought to you by Franco Trading Enterprise. Steel, fun, pa, 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 fear.